Greetings from Lafayette Presbyterian Church on this 11th Tuesday after Pentecost. Reading from Deuteronomy, the seventh chapter. When the Lord your God brings you into the land you are entering to possess it and drive out before you many nations, the Hittites, Gergesites, Amorites, Canaanites, Pezites, Hivites, and Jebusites, seven nations larger and stronger than you are. When the Lord your God delivers them over to you and you have defeated them, then you must destroy them totally. Make no treaty with them and show them no mercy. Do not intermarry with them. Do not give your daughters to their sons or take their daughters from their son, for your sons. For they will turn your children away from following me and serve other gods. And the Lord's anger will burn against you and quickly destroy you. This is what you are to do to them. Break down their altars, smash their sacred stones, cut down their ashram poles, and burn their idols in fire. For you are a people holy to the Lord your God. The Lord your God has chosen you out of all the peoples on the place, face of the earth to be his people, his treasured possession. The Lord did not set his affection on you and choose you because you were numerous, rather because you were a numerous people for you were fewer than all of all peoples, but it was because the Lord loved you and kept his oath, he swore to your ancestors that he brought you out with a mighty hand, redeemed, redeemed you from the land of slavery and from the power of Pharaoh, the king of Egypt. Know therefore that the Lord your God is God. He is a faithful God keeping his covenant of love for a thousand generations of those who love him and keep his commandments. But those who hate him, he will repay to their face by destruction. He will he therefore take care to follow his commandments, decrees, and laws I give you today. If you pay attention to these laws, and are careful to follow them, then the Lord your God will keep his covenant of love with you as he swore to your ancestors. He will love you and bless you and increase your numbers. He will bless the fruit of your womb, the crops of your land, your grain, new wine and olive oil, the calves of your herds and the lambs of your flocks in the land that he swore to your ancestors to give it to you. You will be blessed more than any other people. None of your men or women will be childless, nor will any of your livestock be without young. The Lord will keep you from every disease. He will not inflict on you the horrible diseases you knew in Egypt, but he will infl inflict on them that hate you. You must destroy all of the You must destroy all of the peoples the Lord your God gives over to you. Do not look on them with pity or do not serve their gods or they will be a snare to you. You may say to yourself, these nations are stronger than we are. How can we drive them out? But do not be afraid of them. Remember well what the Lord your God did to Pharaoh and to all of Egypt. You saw with your own eyes the great trials, the signs and wonders, the mighty hand and the outstretched arm with which the Lord your God brought you out. The Lord your God will do the same to all the people you now fear. Moreover, the Lord your God will send the, the hornet among them 
until even the survivors who hide from you have perished. Do not be terrified by them, for the Lord your God is among you. He is great and an awesome God. The Lord your God will drive out those nations before you. Little by little, you will not be allowed to eliminate them all at once, or the wild animals will multiply around you. But the Lord your God will deliver them over to you, throwing them into great confusion until they are destroyed. He will give the, these kings into your hand, and you will wipe out their names from under heaven. No one will be able to stand up against you. You will destroy them. The images of their gods you are to burn in the fire. Do not covet the silver and gold on them. Do not take it for yourselves for you will be ensnared by it, for it is detestable to the Lord your God. Do not bring a detestable thing into your house, or, you, or, it, will, or it will be set apart for destruction. Regard it as vile and utterly detested, for it is set apart for destruction. And the Lord has add his blessing to the reading and the hearing of his holy word. Amen. Let us pray. Father, we thank you that you are a God of love, that you show your love to countless generations who respond to you with obedience to your law. The main point is the love of you and the love of others. Grant this, this love motivate us today to accomplish your purpose in this land that you've given to us. Strengthen and help us to accomplish that purpose individually that we may accomplish it, accomplish it collectively. We pray for those who are sick today that they may be healed for those who are mourning, that they may be comforted, for those who are defeated, that they may hope in victory, and we'll give you praise for what is accomplished, for it is, your glory, it is for your glory that we live and pray. In the name of Jesus, amen. Mm -hmm.